Welcome to 5th grade math with Mr. J. So here we are at the Multiplying Fractions Mastery Check where you are going to try four problems on your own to see if you have it down. If you're looking for a little more help or instruction, check out my instructional video. I uh, added the link below in the description and then come back to the Mastery Check once you're ready. If you're ready for the Mastery Check, have something out to write with and write on. And in a second here, I'm going to say press pause. You press pause, complete these four problems, and when you're ready, press play and check your work with mine. So again, have something out to write with and write on. Go ahead and press pause. All right, welcome back. I'm assuming you have those four problems done. So let's see how you did. So number one, we have eight times three fourths. So we need to put our whole number over one and then multiply straight across. Eight times three, 24, and then one times four is four. So that answer is improper. So we need to divide our numerator, the 24 divided by four, which gives us six holes with nothing left over. So we get a whole number uh, result here, and the answer is six. So number two, we need to put the whole number over one and multiply by two sevenths. Nine times two is 18. One times seven is seven. Again, we have an improper fraction, so we need to divide 18 by seven. How many whole groups of seven can we pull out of 18? And the answer to that is two. And then we have four left over and keep the denominator the same, which is seven. So two and four sevenths. Number three, a fraction by fraction. So one fourth times two fifths. Straight across, one times two is two. Four times five is 20. Now we have a greatest common factor between the two other than one and that common factor is two, so let's simplify. Divide both by two, and we get one-tenth. So you should have one-tenth for number three. Number four, four-fifths times one-third. Straight across, four times one is four. Five times three, 15. Now the only common factor between 4 and 15 is 1, so that means that fraction is already simplified. We are done. 4 fifteenths. So there you have it. Those are the answers to the multiplying fractions mastery check. Hopefully you have it down. If not, head back to the instructional video, see if that can help you out, and give this mastery check or some other practice problems another shot to see how you do. Thanks so much for watching. And until next time, peace.